get a perspective on just how deep the current COVID-19 crisis is, the Bank of England said that Britain's economy might shrink by 25% up to June and unemployment might reach 9%. For the full year 2020, the central bank said that Britain's GDP might shrink by 14%. If confirmed and according to the Bank of England, this will be the biggest plunge in GDP going all the way back to 1709 or about 300 years when Britain was engulfed by the Great Frost Crisis. Put it in other words, the current crisis will cause more economic damage than World War I or World War II. But despite the horrific headline news, the market is sending a different signal. Might it be that things are not exactly as they seem? For example, despite jobless claims totaling 33.5 million, the average US consumer seems to have more discretionary income at his disposal. How so? Well, many of the unemployed are actually earning more sitting at home than when they were working. This has also elevated the savings rate. Several economists have noted that while the US might see up to 25% unemployment, that 25 represents only about 10% of total income, which is the amount of money the government is handing out anyway. In other words, no income might be lost despite the high unemployment rate. The bottom line is that never judge a market from the headline news. While the headline news seems catastrophic, the market is sending a signal of a V-shaped recovery. And with record central bank and fiscal stimulus, not to mention the record $4.5 trillion in dry powder on the sidelines, it's no wonder this market is bouncing back with vengeance.